My name is Bimbika Sujapati Basne. I am a scientist at the Center for International Forestry Research. There's quite a lot of research and evidence on the social and economic implications of oil palm expansion that's emerging from Indonesia. But most of that research really doesn't focus on gender issues. Women play a very important role in oil palm as workers, as part of smallholder uh, households, as communities who are affected by the expansion. So our research really sought to shed light on uh, gender issues, on women's issues. This area was particularly interesting for us because the entire landscape has really changed in the last 10, 15 years because of expansion. Our research was looking at a couple of things. So first was, how did the acquisition process unfold? What were the community, company, government officials dynamics like? And then we were looking at how are people currently engaged in oil palm? What do they think about it? What are some of the challenges they've faced? Uh, one major finding was that uh, there was a lot of dissatisfaction amongst the communities with the ways in which uh, large-scale oil palm negotiations began. And a lot of people felt that the communities were really not on the same level playing field as, as the companies were. Um, this is because, you know, the concession permits were already granted to the companies, so before they even entered into negotiations with the communities. The price of the land that the communities had to give away to make way for oil palm was also determined by the company. And also, the company had promised that uh, if communities participate, that they would receive regular decent income. But in reality, the dividends that the communities have received have been quite limited. Women have faced an additional layer of dispossession because they were really not a part of the negotiation process at all. And yet, large tracts of the land that uh, was given away to make for oil palm was actually Sweden land that women managed for family food provisioning. People aren't against oil palm per se, but they have a lot of dissatisfaction with the ways in which uh, large-scale oil palm unfolded. Oil palm has come with a lot of benefits. People have access to infrastructure, which means that they can then access markets, they can access educational facilities, health facilities. And oil palm has also come up with a lot of employment opportunities. And women in particular uh, have benefited from that. And, and the wages that they earn from oil palm has been an important part of household income. Having said that, and most of them are employed just as casual workers, so they get a wage uh, as per how much they're able to do during that day. And the targets that are set are really, really high, so it's very difficult to work. In addition to that, uh, women also have to go on with their regular activities. So oil palm then becomes one job that they do in addition to other jobs, which includes you know, providing for their households, looking after their children, looking after their families, uh, taking care of their Sweden lands. So you, you see that oil palm, um, because of the terms and conditions of the employment, has really increased uh, women's drudgery. We really don't want this research to be translated into a report that just sits on the shelf. Our hope is really to raise awareness about what are the, what are the key gender issues in the debate about uh, sustainable oil palm and really make sure that women's rights are safeguarded and also their opportunities, oil palm opens up opportunities for women's empowerment. <laughs>